Hi guys, PJ back again, this time taking a look at Sea of Thieves. Now I must be honest, hold my head up here, I have been playing this on the Xbox One X instead of the PC version. The main reason being the fantastic Windows Store. Yeah, it's great, it really is great. After downloading the game on PC and launching the game, I literally got nothing on a sausage. Couldn't figure it out for a few days. Today, the game gets a very small patch, which is on Xbox and on PC. And after the patch, all of a sudden, the game loads. Fantastic. So, I thought we'd go through all the settings and options that the game has to offer. And, uh, you know, give you an idea whether or not you're going to run it on a similar spec system to this one. It doesn't look particularly difficult game to run. It's been designed by Rare to run on pretty much anything. You know, it's sort of a toaster all the way up to a supercomputer. So, you should, should be able to run this on most things. Now, like I say, I've been playing on an Xbox One X. It's a stunning looking game. Really, really nice. Um, does support HDR and all the rest of it. Very nice looking art style. There is some problems with the game at the moment though. Rare have turned off or sort of suspended achievements. So I popped a couple of them and then they stopped altogether. Apparently they're backing all the achievements up. So if you're watching this video around the date it was made, there's an achievements problem. Obviously in weeks to come, or days to come, are you listening rare? Should be sorted. Because I like achievements, you know, why not? But uh, you'll get there eventually and all your achievements apparently have been stored. So they'll just pop as soon as you load the game one day. Just in case of waiting. So anyway guys, let's get into the settings on this. Um, I use an Xbox One controller. Like I say, it uh, can be keyboard, mouse, Xbox controller, whatever really. And we're running it on an ultra wide monitor. So... Uh, Let's have a look and see what's what. So if we go straight into the settings, we have obviously your keyboard mouse layout. Yeah, and if we just go default QWERTY, yeah, WSAD there, all your standard stuff. Feel free to pause the video to take a quick, quick peek at the key list, but you can redefine them all anyway, so, you know, it's no odds, is it? Controller, there's your controller layout. Again, completely redefine everything should you wish to. Although, to be fair, the standard controller layout works perfectly well. Not really had a problem with it. Gameplay. We have the HUD on and off, and then invert your axes, etc. Mouse sensitivity, controller sensitivity, and vibration intensity. Field of view. You can tweak that one, which is nice. Okay, so we've got video settings. I recommend 1080p. Yep. Obviously, if you plug this into a 4K telly or you've got a 1440 monitor, you know, it'll show all the options for you. Uh, we've got resolutions preset in the game. There's not many, okay? So 540p, like I say, it will run on a toaster. 720p, 900p, 1080p, and native, okay? Whatever your native may be. When I plugged it into a 4K HDR TV, this game did support it. So not a problem. I tried that just a few minutes ago and it was fine. Display mode, you have your full screen, your windowed, and your full screen. That's it. Quick and simple. V-Sync on and off. Oh, we got a half. Yeah, we got a half. Okay, that's good. Okay, turn it off. We got a frame rate lock. Now, this doesn't appear to be as accurate as the NVIDIA one in the control panel, so you might want to lock it using that instead. But 120, 90, 60, 30. 15 15 nah. It's going to play 15 frames per second Wow Okay, so we'll put VSync on FPS counters, you've got performance counters here Not just FPS, you've got ping Okay, ping uh, Graphics there, you have Default selection custom And it's basically set everything to legendary I'm running the GTX 1066 gigabyte. It's the Asus ROG one, so it is overclocked, etc. Seems to default everything to legendary, but that's the mythical setting there, which is the top one. So mythical is the highest, yeah. Legendary, rare, rare. Oh, sorry. Common, cursed, cursed nearly and ugly. It's not an ugly game. The art style's fine. You can, you know, run it at uh, that sort of thing. It still looks fun. So again, mythical, they're all the same. Yeah, every single one. 
legendary is sort of reserved for your GTX 1080 type type stuff. Not legendary, mythical. It's just low, medium, high, isn't it? But they've reworded everything. They're all the same, yeah. Just double check for you there. Yes, they are. One more mythical, yeah. We will have a look at mythical and see if we can see any differences. Okay, we've got audio, master volume, music volume, shanty volume, sound effects, crew chat, volume, and crew chat output. And obviously, you can have speakers or headset on crew chat output. Proximity chat there and the proximity chat volume. Proximity chat, you can have it as directional or non directional. And push to talk on and off. Okay, there you go. Right, so we got pirate settings of all things. Delete pirate. So if you've made a character, you can delete them off. Okay, shouldn't that be showing my character? Hmm. Hold on. Credits speaks for itself. Okay, so let's load into game. Um, I have noticed, I've tried this on an Xbox One S and a One X. Xbox One X loads this really, really, really quickly. Uh, Xbox One S pretty slow when I loaded it a minute ago on PC I must admit it's on all 7200 hard drive and I could have gone off and made a cup of tea and come back again it's it was well slow so you might want to stick this on an SSD speed things up a bit so let's have a quick look at what it looks like in game on this legendary setting and uh, see how it runs so here we are in game uh, yes I did manage to circle the North Pole while waiting for this to load but still we are now here in sunny Sea of Thieves. Now, as you can see, uh, looking at the, the frame rate and everything we've got here, this is legendary setting. Now, because we're on an ultra wide monitor, obviously, stands the sense for running more pixels than a normal 1080p monitor, so you might want to bear that in mind. If you're running a similar setup and you've got a normal you know, 16 by 9 1080p monitor, you probably get a bit better frame rate because you're not running as many pixels. But the game does support ultra wide, as you can see natively. I loaded the game, went straight into it, didn't have to set anything or tweak anything there. And on Legendary, it's not bad. I mean, shadows are a bit, as you can see, fugly. Not very nice at all there. But in comparison, because like I say, I've played the Xbox One S version and the X version. This looks nicer than the S version. Not obviously up to the X version. You will need probably a more powerful system. I'm running an FX8350 at 4.2, which is really old CPU now. You know, everybody's on Ryzen and stuff, so that would certainly help. And uh, like I say, a GTX 1066 gigabyte. But uh, RAM-wise, we're only using 6.2 there. So we've got 16 gigabytes in this machine. To be fair, looking at the CPU usage, it's not taxed in the slightest. And what we got? What else are we using? A lot of. GPU there is on like 90% sometimes, so that's possibly a problem. Now, I mentioned the achievements earlier on. I did the one where you get drunk lots and lots and lots, and that achievement popped for me. Um, there's also the other one where you sink your own ship. Where's that ladder gone? Let's go down here instead. And you basically play music as you sink it, and uh, you meant to get an achievement. Well, I've sunk a ship quite a few times and not had any achievement pop whatsoever for that. I've also done the one where you get five pirates all doing their, their singing and uh, no, no achievement so not very good. So if we go to my crew I will just test this and prove to you that achievements are currently crackerjacked. So if we go to school ship, vote yes and then if we go, let's play some music. Now, if you do this while it's sinking, you should get an achievement, but it doesn't work. So we're waiting for Rare to fix that. So what we'll do in a moment, uh, we'll check out the absolute top graphics settings, see what it looks like, see if it looks much different, and we'll also knock it down to the very minimum, you know, see if you guys can run it on like a two gigabyte card. So we don't know which achievement, which achievement we're using off memory. We're using three gigabytes of VRAM at the moment, so GTX uh, 970 users, good to go. You've got spare memory in this setting. But obviously, your frame rate's a bit weird. You're anywhere from 60 to 30. Yeah, weird. You might want to lock it to 30. Just play it at 30. Yeah, it'd be smooth, won't it? That's it. We're up and sink. I must confess, I'm a bit of an achievement for I like to get the achievements. Whether they're not working, I'm bad. Ship's gone. 
No mates arrived. No achievement. Come on, Rare. Fix it, please. Okay, so legendary setting, yeah? Looks nice. Water looks good. Shadows are a bit cack. Uh, Lod. Not bad. You can see stuff draw in at a distance. I mean, uh, if I can catch something for you to look at in particular. I saw a shadow draw a minute ago. Okay, so we'll con Ooh. concentrate here. Can we change the settings in game? This is the question. Mm, not looking like it, is it? Oh, we can. There we go. So, video settings. No, graphic settings. Get it right in a minute. So, recommended is legendary. And bearing in mind that's fluctuating between 30 and 60 FPS. So, uh, Move away. No, can't. Mythical. Let's put everything on mythical. I think it's actually changing in the background, isn't it? Let's go back. As mythical. Okay. We're now using 3.2 gigabytes of VRAM. Shadows. A bit less fugly. Not exactly mega defined, are they? But the, the game's art style lends well anyway, doesn't it? It's a nice looking game. Frame rate 30. 28. Ooh, 28. Yeah, 28. Right, to be fair, it's not bad, is it? I did it once. Mm, quick run around, see if it drops. Can't actually see much difference, to be honest, between Epic and legendary change it again let's go very quickly keep doing that graphics okay so legendary common cursed let's move way down see what you guys can run it on if you're struggling to keep up with the releases of graphics cards that keep getting bought up by the miners every two minutes so no one else can buy them thanks miners Great job, knackering up the gaming industry for PC. There you go, there's the minimum setting. We are on 2.3 gigabytes of VRAM, and obviously a locked 60 frames per second. Still looks nice, you know, cartoony, isn't it? It looks good, still looks fine. Obviously you've lost shadows, contact shadows, detail, but still very playable, nothing wrong with that. Hmm. Okay, one more, one more guys, one more. Let's go with. Uh, so what? What we got? Legendary rare. So I guess rare is high. Yeah, because we got low, medium, high, very high, ultra. So we go rare. Let's see what frame rate we can get. We nice to hit a constant sixty. Forty-three. Failed. Got the shadows back. So there, look. 51. I mean, this is only on the dock. I mean, we've got storms and loads of other ships. I'm not sure how it's going to fare. 48. No, no 60 there. Oh well. I guess you get from that how this game runs. So it'll run on anything, and it still looks nice even on the lowest settings. As for it downloading and working, would you play it on an Xbox or a PC if you had the choice? Depends on your own preference, doesn't it really? Keyboard and mouse, you know. This type of game for me, I would play it on an Xbox to be honest with you. It's not a Twitch shooter or anything like that, it's just a, it's a bit of fun. You know, have a laugh with your mates. Choice is yours guys. Looks nice enough though. Yep. Jump in, buy the game pass, that's what I did. Have a go before you go and spend your money. And on that, thank you very much for watching. And bye for now.